Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Retired Vet Show. Please like and subscribe to the channel as you come in to help me with the algorithm and to promote the video higher into the YouTube sphere, wherever they go to post up, boost other videos. You have to hit the like button as you come in. And please consider subscribing to the channel as well. Judge threatens to jail President Trump for breaking the gag order. Now, before the, you know, that they had hinted at doing it, and now he's dropping the hammer and says he's seriously considering it because in his opinion, President Trump continues to uh, flaunt the gag order and talk about how dishonest this court case against him is. So he's putting him on notice that he's going to put him in jail if he keeps breaking the gag order. Judge Juan Marchand said on Monday he will consider a jail sentence for former President Trump if he continues to violate the gag order imposed upon him in his unprecedented criminal trial. Mershon imposed a gag order on Trump before the trial began, ordering that Trump cannot make or direct others to make public statements about witnesses with regard to their potential participation or about counsel in the case. Other than the Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg or about court staff, DA staff, or family members of staff. Bragg and prosecutors have alleged more than a dozen violations of gag order and fined him $9,000, which we discussed on the last video. And on Monday, he fined him an additional $1,000, but said it is clear that the fine is not effective. The filing states that the Trump is hereby put on notice that if appropriate and warranted future violations of its lawful orders will be punishable by incarceration. Mashawn said Monday that going forward, the court will have to consider a jail sentence. The last thing I want to consider is jail, Mashawn said. You are the former president and possibly the next president. Mashawn, though, said that he worries about that step for Trump pointing to Secret Service protection. He does not lose Secret Service protection if he's put into jail. He'll be sitting in a jail cell with Secret Service inside and outside his jail cell. He does not lose that protection and he doesn't want him to, to talk about him because his case is built on a house of cards. This is a misdemeanor charge that they trumped up, no pun intended, to a felony charge. And now he's in court fighting prison time due to the fact that the, the, the Manhattan DA, Alvin Bragg, does not like him just like uh, Letitia James is not like him. And they are bringing forth these cases, trying to get him put in prison. Instead of beating him with the ballot box, they're trying to beat him in a courtroom. That's the only thing I can think of, because this case should not even be in a court. The FCC, the federal uh, people that handle the election, the election board, FEC, Federal Elections Commission, looked at this as far as campaign violation. No charges brought forward. The Department of Justice at the time, when it first came up, no charges brought forward. Even Alvin Bragg initially said no charges will be brought. Even the Southern District of New York looked at it. No charges shall be brought. <coughs> they had to go and get one of Joe Biden's people that was in his Department of Justice. He stepped down, went to New York. Now he's the one prosecuting this case underneath Alvin Bragg. Tell me how that makes sense. But they're not going after him. No, no, this is all legit. If you like the content, please hit the like button to help with the algorithm. And second, please subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications for future content. And as always, God bless you all. Stay safe.